suppose one over here So, what do we do first? Take the longest chain, two membered, not the longest. See, this is not the chain, you see, this is the chain. You might make the mistake that only this three carbons are the chain, but see, the chain goes like this. These are continuous. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six membered, six carbon chain. And this is this one, which is the straight one, is five. So the six carbon chain is the longest chain and not this straight chain. I mean, people can fool you with this kind of chain and add branches over here. So you would think that this is the chain and this is the group, but this is wrong. The chain is actually this one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is only four. So don't just see the chain, which is looking straight, count the num, take all the chains and then compare which one is the largest. So this is the six member chain. So let us little bit modify this structure. This is the chain. So one, if we start naming from here, one, two, three, the third carbon has one carbon branch or one methyl group. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth carbon has another methyl group. So, this is the chain, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, it's hexane. Now, we see that there are two methyl groups. So, if we start numbering the chain from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's three and five. So there are, there are groups at three and five. Three plus five is eight. Now try numbering the groups, numbering the chain from here. So this is two and four. 2 plus 4 is 6. So, obviously, this is lower. So, the numbering from this carbon creates the lowest sum. And according to the lowest sum rule, the numbering should be done from this carbon. So, this becomes you see, you have two methyl groups at two and four. So it's two comma four di methyl two comma four di methyl hexane. Because this start when you are naming this commas, start from the lowest one. Like if it is one and three, so start one comma three. If it's five, six and uh, five and four, so it's four comma five. And both are methyl groups. There are two methyl groups. So we add a di over here. If there would have been three methyl groups, like suppose you have one more methyl group over here, then the name would be modified to two, four, five. 
Okay, now let us see if counting from this side in this case leads to a lower sum. So if we count from this side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 2, 3, 5. And here it was 2, 4, 5. So 2, 3, 5 is obviously lower than 2, 4, 5. So now count from this side and the formula becomes 2, 3, 5 trimethyl hexane. And so this is the formula. So in case of 2, it there is an additional dye and in case of 3 groups, 3 similar groups, there is a tri. So let us examine few more examples. Okay, this one is too complicated. So, okay, let's not take this cup. So, take the longest chain first. Two member chain, not possible. This is a chain and not this. So, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, six member chain. And the straight one is also six membered. These two chains are equivalent because again if we rotate this carbon and take this two carbons over here, it will form the same chain. So you can take any chain if you want. So this six member, six carbon chain is the longest chain. So we take this as the skeleton. I am not drawing the hydrogens in every uh, drawing because it's very cumbersome. So, first 6, so it's hexane. This much is over. Now, there is a methyl group over here and an ethyl group over here. This is C2H5. Two carbons means always it would be C2H5 only. I mean, in case of single bonds. In case of alkenes, it will be different. So, this, these two groups are present. Now, if you start numbering from here, you would see it's 3 and then 5. But if you start from here, it's 2 and then 4. So, 2 comma 4 is obviously the correct one because it has a lower sum than 3 comma 5. So, we have See, if you have different groups, you don't write 2, 4, something like that. You write 2, then the group, which is methyl, and then 4, ethyl. Still this is wrong. And with this, we come to another rule called the alphabetical order. When you have two different groups, there is a rule to say which the name of which group will come first and the name of which group will come second. Here that rule is not valid. That 2, 4, I mean 
2, 4, 6 if it was, then 2 will come first, 4 will come second, and 6 will come third. When it had different groups, then a different method of determining which group's name will come earlier in the name is there. Now, this alphabetical order is a very simple rule. It says that the group whose name is alphabetically preceding, uh, alphabetically earlier, early, should come first. So, here methyl starts with M and ethyl starts with E. So, obviously, E comes before M. So, ethyl should come before methyl. So, it should actually be 4 ethyl 2 methyl hexane. This is the correct name for that compound. In this rule, 